Okay guys, this is the solution of your exercise for number 1. I have 2x plus 5y, 2x plus 5y equals to 1. And then I have 3x plus 8y equals to 2. I can times it with 3 for the top and times it by 2 for the bottom. So it will be 6x plus 10y equals to 3. And this one 6x plus 16y equals to 4. And then we minus it. Negative 6y equals to negative... Uh, wait a minute. Uh, 15. Oh, this should be 15, guys. It's 15. Minus it. It will be my, uh, negative 1. Negative y equals to negative 1. So y equals to 1. And then put the y. 3x plus 8 equals to 2. 3x equals to negative 6. x equals to negative 2. The question is x. So x equals to negative 2. Number 2. Okay, number 2, we have uh, 3x plus 4y plus 2. I move the 2 to the right side, so it will be negative 2. And this one also 2x minus y, I move the plus 5 into the right side, it will become negative 5. And then for the top, I times it by 1. And for the bottom, I times it by 4. Times it by 1, 3x plus 4y equals to negative 2 times by 4. 8x minus 4y equals to negative 20. And then we plus it. The result will be 11x equals to negative 22. So x will be negative 2. There you go. x equals to negative 2. And we can substitute to the equation 2x minus y equals to negative 5. So negative y equals to negative 4 negative 1 y equals to 1 there you go we have x equals to negative 2 and y equals to 1 the question one us to add them together so negative 2 plus 1 equals to negative 1 d next number 3 number 3 x plus 8 equals to 2y plus 6 move the y x minus 2y equals to move the 8 negative 2 this is the first, and then the second one will be x minus 4y equals to times it first for x minus 8y plus 8, yeah. Okay, and the next is move the x and y, so it will be negative 3x move the 8 plus 4y equals to 8. And then eliminate them. For this one, I will times it with uh, 3. Okay, times it with 3, it will become 3x minus 6y equals to negative 6. And for the other, I times it by 1. Negative 3x plus 4y equals to 8. And then eliminate them by adding uh, them together. This one will be negative 2y equals to 2y equals to negative 1. And then substitute right there x minus 2 times y y is negative 1 equals to negative 2 so x will be negative 4 x equals to negative 4 yeah oh, wait slowly x plus 2 equals to negative 2 x equals to negative 4 there you go we have x and y x negative 4 comma negative 1 e next number 4 uh, we can strike eliminate them negative 12y equals to 7 and then 6 over y x sorry plus 3 over y equals to 1 take a look at the y yeah the y is 12 and 3 so to make it equal times it by 1 and then times it by 4 so the result will be 9 over x minus 12 over y equals to 7 and this one is 24 over x plus 12 over y equals to 4 you can add them together it will become 33x 33 over x sorry and then for this one is 11 times cross multiply equals to 11x x equals to 3 and then substitute it right there 6 over x x is 3 
plus 3 over y equals to 1 and then 2 plus 3 over y equals to 1 next is 3 over y equals to 1 minus 2 negative 1 cross multiply negative y y equals to negative 3 there you go x3 y negative 3 the question is x minus y x minus y 3 minus y 6 6 a next is number 5 number 5 is the hardest uh, questions i think in this exercise yeah so i have this kind of questions plus y minus 4 over x minus y equals to 1 okay let's eliminate them for this one yeah this is 2 this is 4 so i can times 2 and then times 1 for the bottom uh, it will be 6 over x plus y plus 4 over x minus y equals to 4 <coughs> and then for the second one times by 1 9 over x plus y minus 4 over x minus y equals to 1 and then add them together it will become 15 over x plus y equals to um, 5 cross multiply it 15 equals to 5x plus 5y divide by 5 I will get x plus y equals to 3 okay I already have this one and then I can substitute this into right there so I will get 9 over x plus y x plus y is 3 3 minus 4 over x minus y equals to 1 9 divided by 3 is 3 minus 4 over x minus y equals to 1 move the 3 to the right side negative 4 over x minus y equals to negative 2 and then you can take out the negative and then uh, cross multiply again 2 times x 2x 2 times negative y negative 2y you can divide them all by 2 I will get 2 equals to x minus y there you go I have the first and the second simultaneous equations we can solve them together by using elimination one more time x plus y 3 equals to x plus y and then 2 equals to x minus y we can minus them straightly uh, it will become 1 equals to 2y and then y equals to half and uh, you have to substitute again one more time uh, so I have 3 equals to x plus half x equals to um, 6 over 2 5 over 2 x is 5 over 2 y is half the question is um, x square minus y square mm, I don't think that is the answer Oh, actually, uh, that is the answer, yeah. So the question is x square minus y square equals to 5 over 2 square minus 1 over 2 square. The result will be 25 minus 1 over 4 equals to 24 over 4 equals to 6. There you go. The, the answer is 6. E. Okay, next is number 6. Number 6, you have to cross multiply first to be... Uh, so that the equation will be linear yeah so for the 3x minus y minus 10 I cross multiply to the 3 3x minus y minus 10 okay simplify it to x plus 3y plus 4 equals to 9x minus 3y minus 30 and then uh, group them together negative 7x move the y plus 6y move the 4 negative 34 Okay, this is the first and then the second one uh, you have to cross multiply again it will become 6x and then negative 3y and then negative 15 okay move the x negative 5x and then move the y plus 2y equals to move the 7 negative 22 and then you have to eliminate them together negative 5x plus okay, uh, wait 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 okay so for this one i will times it by three and for this one i will times it by one okay 
So I write negative 7x plus 6y equals to negative 34. And then for this one, times it by 3, negative 15x plus 6y equals to negative 66. You can minus it. It will be 15 minus 7, 8x equals to 66 minus 34 is 32. 32x equals to 4. And then uh, substitute right there. 7 times 4, negative 28 plus 6y equals to negative 34. So xy equals to negative 6, y equals to negative 1. There you go. 4 and negative 1. The sum, the sum of the solutions. You have to add them together. 4 plus negative 1 is 3. Next, number 7. Number 7. Um, I have next x minus 2 over 3 plus y plus 1 over 6 equals to 2. We can times them all by 6 to make the denominator disappear. Yeah. So 3 times 6 is... Oh, sorry, 1 over 3 times 6 is 2. So we have 2 times the x negative 2 with 2. And then for this one, 1 over 6 times 6 is 1. one y plus 1 equals to 2 times 6, 12. Okay. So I will get 2x minus 4 plus y plus 1 equals to 12. And then 2x plus y minus 3 equals to 12. 2x plus y equals to 15. Next, the second one, mm, x plus 3 over 4, ne, minus 2y minus 1 over 2 equals to 1. <coughs> this time, we times them with 4. Okay, times with 4, x plus 3, still x, minus, uh, x plus 3, and then half times 4 become 2. 2y minus 1 equals to 1 times 4 equals to 4. And then x plus 3 minus 4y plus 2 equals to 4. x minus 4y equals to 5. Um, 4 minus 5, negative 1. Eliminate them. For this one, I will times it by 1. This one, I will times it by 2. Okay, times by 1, 2x plus y equals to 15 times by 2, 2x minus 8y equals to minus 2. <laughs> you can minus it together. The result will 9y equals to 17, guys. So, ah, oh, yeah, right. The result is not so good, yeah. So we will get y equals to 17 over 9. Yeah, the result is not so good. Next, we have to um, substitute it right there. 2x plus 17 over 9 equals to 15. We can times them all by 9. 18x equals uh, plus 17 equals to 90 plus 45, 135, and 18x equals to minus it 1. 1, 8, right? So x will be 118 over 18. Uh, simplify it. It will be 59 over 9. There you go. This is the x and this is the y. The question is 1 over x plus y. 1 over x plus y will be 1 over 17 plus over 9 plus 59 over 9. The result is 1 over. 69 76 over 9 flip it 9 over 76 9 over 76 that's correct next is 8 the airline uh, sorry an airplane there are 48 passengers yeah the passengers are divided into two class executive class and ec economic class executive class let's say uh, x uh, economy class let's say it's y okay so there are 14 passen uh, 48 passengers it means x plus y the executive passengers plus economy passengers should be 48 yeah and then for the baggage 
the baggage for each class uh, for each executive is 60 kg so 60 kg is one person ya yeah. if we have x person the total will be 60 x and then plus the economy 20 kilo 20 kilo times y should be equals to 1480 for this one we can simplify them first by dividing them by 20 so it will be 3x plus y equals to divide by 20 74 okay 74 we can uh, eliminate this and this 3x plus y equals to 74 and then x plus y equals to 48 we can minus them together so the result will be 2x equals to 26 ya x equals to 13 next substitute right there 13 plus y equals to 48 so y equals to 35 guys the number of executive oh just the executive executive is 13 b next is number 9 A trader has a capital of uh, 300.000 rupiah. Uh, he spent all of his capital to buy a bag of type A rice which costs 1000 rupiah per ounce and a bag of type B rice which costs 1500 rupiah per ounce. Okay? So, uh, he used all of his money to buy two bags of rice ya yeah, type A and type B. Let's say uh, type A he buy x ounce ya, yeah, x ounce and then for type B is y ounce. Oke, okay, ounce itu bahasa Indonesianya ounce ya, yeah, ounce. 1 kilo 1 kg is 10 ounce gitu ya oke okay. so for the first 1000 rupiah per ounce so we have to times x with 1000 we will have 1000x plus for the, ba the b is 1500 so we have to times 1000x and 500 with d b is y ya yeah, equals to uh, 300,000 The total money uh, use 300,000 rupiah and then for this one we can simplify them by dividing them with uh, 500 maybe ya yeah. for this one is 2x this one is 3y for this one is 600 okay this is the first equation and then the second equation is a total of 25 kilogram So, if 1 kg is 10 ounce, 25 kg will be um, 25 times 10, 250 ounce. Yeah, so, the total is 250 ounce. We can say that X ounce plus Y ounce equals to 250. Eliminate them together. For this one, I will times it by 2. This one, I will times it by 1. So the result will be 2x plus 3y equals to 600. For this one, 2x plus 2y equals to 500. Minus it, y equals to 100. And then the x will be... No, wait. Better go there. x plus y equals to 250. So x plus 100 equals to 250 x will be 150 there you go the question is type b type b is 100 ounce this one ya yeah. next number 10 the last one we have two kind of vehicles which is car and buses so for the cars we will let it with x and for the bus we will let it with y Oke. Okay. so we have 58 vehicles uh, the total of cars and buses is 58 so we can say that X plus Y will be 58 and then for the area of parking lot 600 meter square the total for each car needs 6 meters so 6 times the number of car which is X 
plus the bus takes 24 24 times the number of bus y should be equals to 600 meter square yeah we can divide them with 6 to make it simpler 4y equals to 100 and then eliminate them together x plus 4y equals to 100 x plus y equals to 58 we can minus it directly it will give us 3y equals to 42 x uh, sorry y equals to 1 4 14 ya yeah? and then put the y into the equation x plus 14 equals to 58 so x will be 44 guys ya yeah? x 44 y is 14 the question wants us to find the cars is 44 x 44 ya yeah? b so that's the solution for your exercise i think it's very easy because we already run this uh, in junior high school yeah if you cannot solve this then you are lose to any junior high school student guys you are in a senior high school right yeah do not lose to them okay see you at